I have to change into a t-shirt. My sushi's on fire. <laughs> Look at the view from here. Crackheads. Ah, California experience. I really can't thank you guys enough. <laughs> this is the same Target where a kid got stabbed. Hi, Stan Stans. My name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. Yes, you guys, I am in my next travel destination. Unfortunately, it's due to be starting school soon, so I'm gonna have to be traveling alone for this leg of the trip. I'm still going to a few places. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should, by the way, you guys probably know where I am already. And by this LED light over here, it's probably really obvious, but I'm gonna tell you guys exactly where I am and why I'm here, because there's actually a very real reason why I'm here, and I am actually going to prepare for that today. But this is official. Actually, day one, I'm gonna tell you guys how I got here the entire process, but first we need some food, so let's go to the supermarket. If I'm being completely honest, I don't exactly know how safe the neighborhood I'm staying at is. <laughs> and I'm just like walking in downtown LA, so it's a little bit scary. But Orpheum Theater, isn't that where they hold the finale for every drag race season? Well, hi Orpheum Theater. This is probably like my fourth time in LA. So basically, you guys have guessed, I am in LA. I'm going to the Beyonce concert. Oh my god, that scared me. But I think this is generally a pretty Pretty safe area. The Apple store is over here. There's an Urban Outfitters. There's even a gentle monster. But yeah, I'm going to Target. It's a 16 minute walk. Let's hide my camera. I'm not wearing any of my jewelry. I'm just so scared. I'm just really cautious with like what I wear and stuff. Especially because I don't drive and I don't have a car. Anyway, let's go. Okay, on my way to Target, I happened to walk past a Whole Foods. So now I'm just at a Whole Foods. I think this is literally my first time at a Whole Foods. I've been to Trader Joe's, Target, Walmart. But this is my first time at Whole Foods and I kind of get the hype. I really feel like the American experience here the American grocery store experience. But yeah, I'm just looking for a couple of things. I saw this thing. I know you guys have seen it as well, but I saw this thing on TikTok. I saw them make like a Big Mac with tortilla and I want to try making it because it looks so easy and it's kind of healthy, I think. So I'm just getting the ingredients. Also, I need your help. Do you guys know if iceberg is what they put in Big Macs or is it romaine lettuce? Now that you guys can answer. I wish you guys were here with me so you could help me. Okay, we don't have half this many type of cheese in Japan, so I'm really overwhelmed. The US has too many choices for everything. I'm so overwhelmed. Grade A eggs, pasture raised large brown eggs, omega 3 large brown. Can I just have like eggs? I don't know what any of these mean. You know what? Any, 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 know this one. You guys, I've been here for three seconds. I just walked in and I have like things I didn't even plan on buying. I understand like the American overconsumption. Like they just have so many fun, yummy things. Ugh. What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. I literally was only gonna get ingredients for this tortilla Big Mac that I was making. Literally in my shopping list, there were eight things. I ended up spending $107. US grocery stores are really expensive. I didn't expect it. And I bought like triple the amount of things I was supposed to get. A massive oat milk chocolate. Oatly is one of my favorite oat milk. And they don't have it in Japan, so of course I had to get one. These are just the ingredients for the food I'm making. They didn't have small packets of these. They just had like big ones. And I'm only gonna make like one of these. And I've got like huge ones. What am I supposed to do with these? Even a massive sweet relish. Of course I had to get myself fruits while I'm here. Like Japanese fruits are way too expensive. Every time I would walk past anything that was very American, I was like, I need it. These are pretty much Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but they're the Whole Foods Market version and they're dark chocolate. I wanna try one actually. Oh my God, this is the first food I'm having today. It's still currently like 9 a.m. though. Mmm, you guys have to get this. Way better than Reese's Peanut Butter Cups because it's dark chocolate. I need more of these, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oatly oat milk vanilla ice cream. I saw this salad, I don't even know what it is. It just looks so yummy. It's called tabule salad. I love this tabule salad. The reason I woke up so early today, I woke up at 5 a.m. by the way. Of course, jet lag, today is day one. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was about to sleep at around 11 p.m. and then I woke up really rested. I looked at the time and it was 1 a.m. So just to help me sleep, I got melatonin and this lavender aroma therapy spray. Ah. 
Of course, I'm gonna miss a lot of Asian foods. I got myself kimchi and kombucha. If you guys watch my fam, you guys would know about yerba mate. I don't know what it is, but she's always talking about it, and I feel like I just have to try it. This is the first time I'm seeing it in real life, and I just feel like I have to try it. Come over here. I feel like we need a little moment to just try this because my fam is so obsessed with it. I just need to try it. What even is it? I don't even know what it is. It says organic cane sugar. What is yerba mate? Because that's one of the ingredients. That was a big ass goal. <laughs> so is it just like iced tea? It's 27 grams of added sugar. Anyway, I guess this is just sugar water. <laughs> it actually doesn't have any strong flavor. It pretty much just tastes like very watery iced tea. I would rate it a six out of 10. But that's about it, let's make breakfast. Actually, before we start making breakfast, I just wanted to talk about something. Cause I know a lot of guys are gonna ask about it in the comment section. But the montage in the beginning of the video of me waking up and getting ready, I did like a little first person POV. I did like high up shots. Those were filmed by Insta360 Go 3. And this video is actually sponsored by them. So thank you so much to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. I've been using this one for years now. You guys know the Insta360 X3. I've been using the old versions of this as well to make like third person drone shots and stuff. But the same company made the Insta360 Go 3. So what it is, is basically a tiny little action camera, but this tiny thing is packed with a lot of different features. This has actually been trending on TikTok recently for shy vloggers. There's a flip out LCD screen, so you can vlog like this and not a lot of people will see you. This tiny camera shoots 2.7K videos. It has voice control, it has AI powered editing, and you can actually detach it from the action pod. And this thing is waterproof up to 16.4 feet. This serves as the wireless screen and the charger. And this tiny thing has a three hour battery life. They have a lot of attachments, so you can really make your creativity vogue. One of my favorite things to do with this camera is the first person POV, I just attach it to this little attachment right here and then attach this little thing to a hat and now you have a first person POV camera. This is how I do it. I love using this pendant as well when I'm outside. I literally just wear it like this, put this under my shirt and yeah. this is a little magnet. And you can just vlog like this first person, go shopping and no one's gonna notice you. I know you guys are wondering, how are you even attaching this to places? It's magnetic. You can pretty much attach it to any magnetic surface and start vlogging like that. This is so easy to use. If you need a stand, just put it in the action pod like this and use this little attachment. You want to stick it to a non-magnetic surface? Easy. And it's so easy to remove. And this is a reusable adhesive. If it gets too dusty, you can straight up just wash it and you can stick it to new surfaces. But yes, this is the Insta360 Go 3. I'm gonna use it when I cook as well. If you guys wanna get your own, you guys can use my link in the description box. And thank you so much to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Okay, it's time to cook. Let's see. Tell me the motherfuck why they already have garlic powder and paprika and I got new ones. Oh, I should have checked what they have. Okay, first things first is you wash your fucking hands. One of the reasons I'm cooking instead of eating out is because I love American Kitchen so much. Ah! Oh my god, I forgot about this American kitchen feature. But yeah, Japanese kitchens are tiny and I love a good island and that's why I'm cooking. I really want to cook a lot this trip and not really eat out. I mean, of course, I'm still gonna probably eat out like once a day. But I also just want to like cook a lot, you know? Okay, this is actually really, really easy. First, let's season the meat. Ground beef. So, how did I get to the US? Story time when I cook. So after Korea, Stewie and I actually went back to Tokyo and I stayed there for about a week. I just thought it was very impractical to go straight from Korea to the US. Especially because I did a lot of shopping and I don't want to like bring all the things I bought in Korea to the US. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go back to Tokyo for a little bit. I can also, you know, cut my hair. I can also do the laundry and then refill on all my skincare and then go to the US, which is what I did. And I also had to like drop off Stewie anyway. On the day, Stewie was actually really nice. He took me all the way to the airport. And then at the airport, I went to the airline lounge. And you guys at the lounge, I fucking found their bar. You know what that means. <laughs> also, I'm just making like balsa beef and pressing it against the tortillas. Like that. But yeah, I had curry. The lounge was really nice. It was my first time going to to the ANA lounge. I went to the Japan Airlines Sakura lounge a lot of times, but this was my first time going to the ANA one. It was actually really nice. I think I prefer this one more than the other one. It's just so much bigger and they have a fucking bar. Do you guys see me press the beef against the tortilla just like this? Ugh, what am I doing? I'm gonna save some of the leftovers for another time, maybe tomorrow. No waste in this household. So you add a little bit of oil, just a little tiny bit, and honestly just slam it right away. And then it's just gonna cook. This time around, I flew Singapore Airlines. Singapore Airlines is my second favorite airline after Qatar Airlines, I think. This was my seat, it was really nice. The first movie I watched was the new Spider-Man movie. I've actually watched it in the cinemas already, but when I watched it, it was with someone I met at the gay district who asked me out on a date, and we were pretty much just making out the whole movie, so I had to rewatch it on the plane. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Wait, I can't tell if it's ready. But yeah, it was just like food after food after food after food after food. I don't know why, but I can literally just keep eating when I'm on the plane. And then after that, I watched Avatar The Way of Water. A lot of people said they hate it, but I actually loved it. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Maybe because I was really drunk with gin and juice. And then there was some more food and more food and more drinks. And then just like that, I was not able to sleep at all because Spider-Man was like 2 hours and Avatar was like 4 hours. And in between, I was just eating, so I did not sleep at all. Is this ready? Oh my god, it's coming off. Okay, what have we learned from this first batch? I don't know, but I think the next one will be better. I mean, the first one is always the trial, you know? Fuck, where are the fucking thingies? What's the point of the tortilla being here? I'm a good cook, I promise. You've seen me cook before. This is just a bad recipe. I honestly should just cook everything separately. But yeah, when I landed, I was really scared because I hate LAX. And I feel like everyone in the immigration are just so mean. So I was like, I can't wear a crop top. I have to change into a t-shirt. I just can't wear a crop top. So I changed into a t-shirt and then just like that I was entering the US and Justin my best friend picked me up. We got acai bowl and then we went to La Playa Hermosa and then BAM! I was here at my Airbnb. I was honestly really really tired. I was awake for more than 24 hours because I couldn't sleep on the flight. Like who am I getting like a full flat seat when I'm not even utilizing it when I literally just like stayed awake the whole time? Are you okay? Okay whatever let's add some cheese. American cheese. This is such an American thing. Like what is this? Like lazy food. I'll figure it out, you guys. I'll figure it out. So I made another one off camera. I think I was able to perfect it this time. I just had to like lower the heat and just like cook it for longer. But while everything is cooking, it's time to make the Big Mac sauce. It was weird because I had to get onion powder and a whole onion as well. I just hope I don't cry from the onion. Shut up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh my god, I'm already crying. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. This is it. I'm over it. Ooh, this is perfect. This is literally perfect. And if I'm being honest, I'm just gonna eyeball everything. Mayo. Mustard. Onion powder. Salt. Pepper. Onion. Sweet relish. Garlic powder. Paprika. A little bit of vinegar. And stir well. Hold the fuck up. What? That's a Big Mac. Okay, that is yummy. That's wild. I just eyeballed that. It's ready. Last thing we need to do is add the sauce and the lettuce. Oh my god, it literally smells like McDonald's here. Mmm, I am so American. Mmm. Oh, that looks amazing. And I have my fucking yerba mate and my fruit. California experience. <laughs> okay, guys, moment of truth. Is it gonna taste like Big Mac? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. This is a Big Mac. One of the main reasons I was attracted to this actually was because of the lettuce. I can control the amount of vegetables I eat with this. It's a healthy meal. Oh my god. You guys have to do this. 10 out of 10. Ah, oh, some fruit. Oh my god, you guys, the jet lag, I can feel it. The jet lag is like starting from my eyes and I can just feel my eyes closing and sleeping. But I'm just trying the fruits and I'm like, what the hell is this? I think it's mango, but it's like so hard, like rubber. I am going to the Beyonce concert tonight. I don't have an outfit. I have to go shopping. <laughs> also, let's try this classic kombucha. They pretty much. Oh, LA people are interesting. LA is the land of the drinks. Okay, I'm gonna take a 30 minute power nap because I'm literally just crashing. But after this, we have to go shopping, you guys. I just took the most life changing one hour nap and I think that literally cured my jet lag. I hope I'm able to sleep a lot tonight. But I am currently at Urban Outfitters, just looking for some clothes to wear at the Beyonce concert. Everything is literally so tacky. Like the dress code is silver. Beyonce was like, for my birthday concerts in LA, I want everyone to wear silver because this is like her last set of concerts in LA. So yeah, I have a few things here. I feel like a lot of people wear this already, but let's just try it out. I told myself I'm not gonna go shopping this trip because shopping in AJ is so much better anyway. I don't want to spend a lot of money while I'm in LA because everything is so expensive already. Let's just try out some items I chose. There were some silver items, but they're obviously clothes that I'm never gonna wear ever again after the concert, so I made sure to choose things that I would wear after the concert. First item. Oh my god. I feel like I look like a door. I don't like it. Zero out of ten. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, these pants though, hold on, hold on. I'm actually really obsessed with these pants. Oh my god. Not even just for the concert, just like in general. They're also $89. That's so expensive. Hold on, this is a vibe. Wait, I thought I would hate this top. It was just like a random silver one I chose, and this was the last one they had. Do we love it? Do we love it? I don't know what I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll hold on to it. Okay, we've all seen this type of top. It's more like a necklace. 
It could be a vibe, but I literally feel naked. Like, I'm literally naked. Okay, when I walked in, this is actually the very first piece I saw. It was in the sale rack, and it was one and only. They only had one. So I was thinking, just like a really comfy zip up like this is such my vibe. And this will be like the silver piece in the outfit. See, this is a vibe. We have an outfit. So I got these wings for the concert. <laughs> I'm on my way to Target right now. I just need to buy chancla slippers for the Airbnb because no shoes allowed. But when I'm in my socks in the Airbnb, my socks turn black. The floor is kind of nasty. So I need to buy chancla. Also, there's a pool on the rooftop. So I really want to buy swimwear just so I can, you know, swim, take a dip in the pool early in the morning. A sunrise swimming moment. I don't know. But yeah, let's go to Target. My very first Target run of this trip. As we're Target sometimes just has like the cutest things. Like, look at these places platform loafers. Do I need them? <laughs> also, I'm like constantly on edge. This is the same target where a kid got stabbed. Right outside this target, someone jumped right in front of me. He was just like playing around, but my heart stopped. Am I really in LA if I don't get a pumpkin spice candle? That's what pumpkin spice smells like. It smells like cornflakes. Let's just get myself a What am I doing? I need to be at the Beyonce concert in literally an hour. I need to find swimming shorts. Excuse me, do you guys have men's swimming trunks? Uh, no, not Okay, thank you. I don't have swimming shorts. I'm gonna look for swimming shorts and prove them wrong. Okay, I don't know what they're talking about because I literally found the most obnoxious frog green swimming shorts for $11. They were just gatekeeping, not the staff gatekeeping. I made it back to the Airbnb. I am always on edge walking in downtown LA. It's actually really scary, so I'm really cautious with like everything. And I'm just so aware of like every movement everyone makes. There's a lot of like crackheads. Ah! That word sounds so illegal to say here in LA. It's like saying the word Yakuza in Japan. <laughs> But thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. Like, I don't feel lonely, even though I've been alone for more than 24 hours. I literally don't feel alone. I feel like I've just been hanging out with you guys all day. Anyway, I'm going to wear this. What is a good transition? Let me think. Okay, I, I know what to do. I think I should literally wear this as the outfit. I just wanted to find a really good balance between comfort and Beyonce. And yes, it is a silver outfit. Look. I really like it. So yeah, this is my outfit. Ma -pa -wa. Ma -pa -wa. Oh my god, I'm gonna see Blue Ivy. At night, when it gets a little bit cold, I can just wear this. I'm obsessed with a zip up actually. The original price was $70, but it was on sale, so it was literally $20. I got it for $20. What a steal. It makes the outfit look so effortless. <laughs> Let's get going, you guys. Genuinely the best concert I've ever been to that just topped every single concert I've been to I've been to so many concerts my new top five This also has nothing to do with who the artist is. It's just like the concert experience the number one Beyonce Number two was Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish was so so good and then Blackpink and then I would say Rosalia Shut up. And then number five is Lady Gaga, I think. That's currently 2 a.m. I'm quickly just eating before I go to bed. I'm just so, so grateful for my life, you guys. I was just getting chills and butterflies the whole time. I went with my best friend, Justin. I love him so, so much. And it was just like such an amazing experience. And I really can't thank you guys enough because it's because of you guys that I'm able to live the life I live. I would just like to say thank you so, so much for everything. And add some kimchi to this fucking salad. Mm, that was yummy. Okay, guys, I'm really, really tired. I already took a melatonin, so I'm just gonna doze off to sleep after eating. Good night. Good morning. Just kidding. It's only been like 10 seconds. I'm eating ice cream in bed. I just wanted to try this on camera because I've never had oat milk ice cream before. I've had soy milk ice cream, but soy milk ice cream always tastes like soy milk. It never tastes like real ice cream. It always tastes like soybean. So let's try oat milk ice cream. <laughs> Okay, oat milk ice cream is better than soy milk ice cream. I'm just gonna watch some Ratatouille and sleep. So actually, good night. 
Good morning, Stan Stans. Oh my god, you guys. I don't know if it was a good idea to take the melatonin last night. I ended up waking up at literally 3 p.m. I slept for 11 hours. But honestly, I really needed that. I feel like I had a lot of sleep that. Especially because I've been so jet lagged for like the last two days. And I've just been waking up in the middle of the night. So that was a very much needed sleep. I feel like that really cured my jet lag. I haven't had any food today yet. So let's go get some food. I'm thinking we should go get sushi. Sushi is like a bougie meal here in the Western world. Of course, in Japan, I can literally eat that every single day. And it would be like $10 for a full big fat meal. But here, it's probably going to be like $10 for like two pieces. I don't know. I don't know the pricing. American sushi is a bit crazy. They put a lot of stuff like avocado and chili and like... Just a bunch of random stuff. But I can't really blame them. It's just like the gentrification of sushi here in the West. I mean, come on, like in Japan, we put fucking corn on pizza. So who is Americans to blame for like putting random shit on sushi? I looked up a few places around the area and I found one place. So let's go try going to that place. Okay, I made it to the restaurant is called Sakana Sushi Lounge. Sakana means fish in Japan. I noticed that in the US, you always have to like fill up a little form to order, like check the little things and then the staff will get it. I asked the person for uni, like sea urchin. It says MP for the price. I was like, what is MP? And she was like, it's market price. Today it's $15 for one piece. Sushi here is expensive. One piece of sushi for $15 is wild. But yeah, I'm just getting like the regular things like tuna and salmon. And I'm also gonna get one crazy one. Drag spider. Like, what are these names? Rainbow. Ooh, LGBTQ. That's me. We should get a rainbow. There's a Bible verse at the end. Something I've noticed in the US as well. The tuna always has this green stuff on top, and I don't know what it is. Oh my god, it's... I think that's literally like wasabi with jalapeno or something. Oh, also when I ordered the roll, they ended up having like buy one, take one free. And then I asked them like, what is the craziest looking one? And they were like, you should try this flaming volcano. There's literally fire under it. I was like, sign me the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do they have such good fish here? Probably the best sushi I've had in my life. I'm just kidding. Probably the best sushi I've had in the US, honestly. Okay, let's try the fucking uni. This is huge. <laughs> oh my God, that just like exploded in my mouth. <laughs> There was two people watching me. <laughs> that was so good. I honestly would prefer the salmon and the tuna though. Thank you. Yes, everything's good. Thank you. There's little kale on it. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. My sushi's on fire. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually really hot. So let's try the spider first. The spider has raw kale on it. I don't think I'm gonna eat the raw kale. Salad first, I know. But like raw kale and sushi is just crazy. Oh! I'm gonna take this out because I generally can't finish it. This is massive. Also, I know a lot of people expect me to like hate on American sushi, but honestly, like it's fine. I just don't think of it as sushi. It's just like a roll. Of course, it's like inspired by sushi. But did you guys know that California roll was actually invented by a Japanese person? Moment of truth. Let's try the flaming volcano. Oh my god, it's cheese. Ooh, I know this is gonna be good. Wait, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it's very, very greasy. It's just like a gyudon. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I just drooled. <laughs> Seven out of time. You guys should come here. It's Sakana Sushi Lounge, downtown LA. Not sponsored. Can I take these both out? Yes. Yes, please. I'm gonna try the matcha iced tea. Mm. That is good matcha. I'm gonna come back here for sure if I start craving sushi again. $84. I miss my best friend Nicolette. So I FaceTime her. I just saw her two weeks ago. But we were just talking about how the US has a lot of different things. Like they just like think about everything. But I'm actually thinking about bringing some of these trash bags to Japan because first of all, it's vanilla scented. So my trash never smells bad. It's also like this stretchy material. So it fits so much. And when you take it out, you just pull on these little strings and it closes it for you. This is a true American experience. And also, they have a trash chute. The convenience that the US of A offers is unmatched.
Hello, hello. Today is my editing day. I came into the living room and didn't realize that my window is west facing and there's just sunlight everywhere. The weather is so, so good here in California. So I really want to go to the rooftop pool and check it out. I did get my little swim shorts the other day. So I think I'm going to go have a little dip. Let's take full advantage of this fucking Airbnb. Also, I realized it didn't really give you guys a tour of the Airbnb. It's pretty straightforward. Like the kitchen is right here. The living room is right here right away. You can see California dreaming right here. My favorite thing about this place in you washer and dryer and then if you walk in over here there's the main door this is the bathroom and then there's another door here leading into the bedroom where all the magic happens <laughs> shut the fuck up what kind of magic bitch anyway let's go to the pool you guys i made it to the pool look at the view from here like you can literally see the skyline of la and the pool is looking so good there's barely anyone here there's just like two couples and i love it the pool is so nice and pretty oh my god the vibe is right they're playing good music and I feel like I'm just gonna nap here for a second. You know what? I should just edit here. I'm gonna bring my computer and just edit here. This is what the shorts look like, by the way. They're honestly kind of big. I want them to be more skimpy and slutty. But yes, you guys, I'm gonna end this video right here. There's a lot of travel videos coming up still. I'm gonna be in LA for a little bit more. So I'm really excited for you guys to see my adventures. I'm gonna see my best friends. I'm gonna see my managers. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again in my next video next week. Bye.